They say it's important to recycle plastic bottles. But why? The answer starts underground or the ocean floor, where crude oil is pumped up through the ground and sea in long pipes and sent to an oil refinery. Likewise, natural gas is extracted from rock formations deep under fields and waterways. Crude oil and natural gas are raw materials. So next, they'll go through a process using energy and water to alter their structure, starting with a chemical reaction. Hundreds of thousands of small molecules called monomers combine to form a polymer chain. Millions of polymer chains are formed at once, creating a mass known as a resin. Resins come in different shapes and sizes. Pellets like these are what's used in plastic manufacturing. Using high heat and pressure, the pellets are melted down and injected into the mold of a small tube known as a preform. Once heated back up, air expands the tube open like a balloon in a blow mold. And as it cools down, finally starts to take shape. That's when it looks like the bottles you see in stores and vending machines. It takes a lot of work and materials to make one single bottle, which is why recycling is so important. Putting a bottle in the trash means it will likely end up in a landfill, where these useful resources won't get a chance to take on a new life. Littering is even more destructive, wasting natural resources and creating a negative impact on our communities, wildlife, and environment. But recycling a bottle enables these resources to keep being useful. After being put in a recycling bin, plastic bottles get hauled to a materials recovery facility, or MRF, where recyclables are dumped, put on a line, and sorted. Materials move through a disk screen that separates paper from containers. Metals are separated by magnets, and plastics are sorted by visual inspection using a combo of machines and people. Plastic is then sorted into categories by type. Once enough bottles have been accumulated, they're compacted into giant bales and sent to a plastic reclaiming plant. There, they're shredded into flakes. Some facilities use a float sink process to separate the different types of plastic. Ultimately, all the plastic is washed thoroughly to remove contaminants and prepare them for their new life. The flakes are then melted down into resin pellets to be used to make new bottles or other cool things. The simple act of recycling a bottle gives it a new life, preserves resources and energy, keeps our planet healthy, and makes a big impact.